Hey my loves, it's your girl Mary J. Welcome back to yet another video. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, you're absolutely welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with our post notification bell to be alert every time I post a video as well as join the family. Thank you guys so much for coming back if you're a returning subscriber. In today's video, as you can see, girl, Ooh, these locks, they're not it no more. They're not it. So I'm going to be showing you guys the takedown process. Um, so if you'd like to see how I take off my full locks, please continue watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And enjoy. <laughs> child i look a hot mess see what i do for y'all i love y'all because i love you guys i love y'all i still love you first of all what you want to ask yourself is if you want to reuse your locks if you care about your locks, if you don't, then we can go ahead and use the scissors and just snip, 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 snip. But I'm still going to show you guys two ways of doing it, right? So one way is if you want to reuse your locks is you're going to take your time and you're going to unravel the um the free tress hair that i used um the curly hair that i used to wrap um over the locks right um you're going to take your time it hurts when you want to reuse stuff right because you can't just go into it and just cut it so um you can you can cut like the little snags though so you don't mess up the locks. So you see here, there's a little snag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, what I'm going to do is just cut that just to free the lock like that. Right? So I'm going to take my time and unravel this over the... Right? And wherever I hit a snag, I will use my scissors. So therefore I'm not destroying the lock because remember, I would like to reuse, I would like to reuse them. Um, so as you can see, I hit another snag here. I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see that, right? So I'm going to use my scissors and i'm just gonna snip that and i'm going to continue to unravel until we get all the way to the top now this 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 way is a little time consuming um there's another snag here so what i'm going to do you don't necessarily want to keep the um, the hair that was used to wrap um, the lock. So I'm just going to cut that right there because it's giving me too much snags. The goal here is to save the lock. So... Just gonna keep on unraveling. Now I'm at the bottom. So now I'm going to open this up like this and I'm going to gently take my time and pull that through. And if it's not coming, do not force it, right? Just find your hair, which is right here for me um and you see how that comes 
right off, right off. So I was able to pull that through and now I see my natural braid and the lock. So now I'm going to use my comb and I'm going to um, take out um, the braid. And as I'm taking out the braid, you can kind of see the lock, like the lock just slid right off. Just like so and with the left the rest of this left over here um you can go ahead and just take that off um like that and you have yourself a reusable lock that you can then reuse again um these are expensive y'all these are expensive so if you can do it this way it saves your money. It's very time consuming, but it saves money. If you care, if you care at all, just saying. But so then you can go ahead and just continue taking out your braid and that's it. That is the first way of doing it. Now, the second way of doing it, pulling out a a lock right for me my hair is what's we call it right here right so I'm going to cut this snip I could no longer use this lock I have destroyed it it's done it's not coming back <laughs> but it's done so it's you know ultimately the same concept but you know I guess you know, you're, it's just shorter, so therefore you don't have a lot of snags, i say. Um, um, yep, yeah, so I'm still going to unravel. So, which is what takes up the time anyway. So, I would just recommend doing it the first way, so therefore you do save your lock because... If you still have to unravel the damn hair, like, then why not just save your damn locks? I don't know. That's just what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know down below because I'm going to do it in the way where I save my locks versus this way where I'm cutting them because to me, it's not really that much I don't know. It's not any quicker either. So I'll just stick to the first one, the first way. But I just wanted to show you guys this way to give you guys an option, right? And the lock is out. It's a baby lock, but and I'm going to finish taking out this braid. And finish. So that is simple enough, I would say. Um, I'm going to keep on going, and I will get to you guys when I have done a couple of them. Okay.
to somewhat the middle of my head. <sighs> this, I didn't think this was going to take this long. I didn't think this required this much patience. But it is simple to do. It's just, <sighs> guys, I'm not feeling it at all. So I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to finish taking out my hair and I'm going to wash it and get back to my wigs. Oh, I freaking love my wigs. I love my wigs. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in another one. Bye.